Hello, welcome to Delight Channel. Why should you be interested in entrepreneurship? What is it all about? Why should you bother your head? These are some of the things that we are going to try and cover this week on Delight Channel Development, Empowerment and Leadership Initiative. This is an NGO where we are very, very passionate about value creation because our vision is world transformation, one man at a time, one community at a time. I bid you welcome. Welcome to the series that we call Entrepreneurship Made Simple. We did the introduction last week. If you didn't watch, please go back and watch because this week we are diving a bit deeper into the details of what we are talking about. And there is no better point to start than to let you know that this video is speaking to you whether you are an existing entrepreneur, you are an intending entrepreneur, or you are just an individual who, based on the feedback and the training that we've given you in our money management series, has been able to create assets. And from that asset that you have created, you have been able to aggregate sufficient cash. If you remember the journey that we created for you, the first step we said you needed to take is the step of aggregation. Try to save and aggregate, and when you think you have some material sums of money, try and then invest. So, even if you are not interested in being an entrepreneur yourself, this video speaks to you because, like we also said in those set of videos, do not invest in any asset that you do not understand the fundamentals. So, even if what you are trying to be is an angel investor or a financier of an idea, the more you understand how entrepreneurship works, the easier it is for you to latch on opportunities to seize openings and windows that may present themselves to you and create assets that not only pays you in the now, but can pay you until the foreseeable future. In essence, whoever you are, this video is for you. Let's move on. What is entrepreneurship? Entrepreneurship has its root in a French word called entrepreneur. I hope I called it properly. If not, please forgive me. And the meaning in English is one who undertakes. And it's also used in a bigger French phrase that says, C'est lui qui entreprend, meaning those who get things done. And if you trace the etymology of that word, in terms of the current and contextual usage, an entrepreneur is defined as somebody who sets up a business, takes on the financial risk, all in the hope of making profit. Again, that same concept has evolved even further to a more altruistic and a more encompassing concept that real entrepreneurship actually goes beyond just money. Real entrepreneurship speaks about solving problems. And that really is my own definition of entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship is the ability to identify a problem and find a solution to it in a sustainable manner. Meaning, whether you are doing it for profit or not for profit or a mix of both, whatever you are doing as an entrepreneur, you must be able to do it in a sustainable manner. And that again leads to the next question. Why entrepreneurship? From the last definition I gave you, the why of entrepreneurship is very clear. Entrepreneurs are the people that create solution. As a matter of fact, we owe the quality of life that we live to entrepreneurs. From the light that is powering this camera, to the light that is illuminating this camera, to the camera itself, to the sound, to the clothes on your back, 
to the vehicle you are driving, to the aircraft that you are flying, to the food that you are eating. Name it. Anything that you are enjoying today, we owe it to the entrepreneurs, the individuals who refuse to settle for the status quo. They look for problems, small, big, wide, narrow, local, international. They focus on them and they find ways and means by which such problems can be solved in a sustainable manner. Some are purely for business. They are driven by profit. It is good. Some are social. They are trying to solve social problems. They may end up making money from it. They may not be making money from it, but they wake up every day. They are consumed by this passion. They pursue it and they solve those problems. And some is a breed of even the social and the business. Why are we identifying them differently? We call them techpreneurs. They are people who focus on what they can do through technology. What problems can they solve with technology? So I'm speaking to the entrepreneurs of our world and I say thank you so much for the difference you are making in our life and continue to push along and see how we can even make our world better. But back to you. So the question is entrepreneurship. Do you think you are caught out for it? Is everybody an entrepreneur? Can everybody be an active entrepreneur? That is the question we will try to answer in the next episode. We are going to go into the DNA of an entrepreneur. Who is he? What is he? What have we found out from the study of successful entrepreneurs? Because if you cannot answer some of those questions in the affirmative, maybe, just maybe, entrepreneurship, at least in the active sense, is not for you. I'm sure you'd like to find out in the next episode. So make it a day to join me here. And if you know anybody that needs to hear this, let the rat in the house tell the rat in the farm. We are now on entrepreneurship. Everybody needs to hear this. And so make it next week as we go deeper in this journey that we are undertaking. Once again, if you do not know, T Mark is still my name. And all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. See you next week and ciao ciao.